So it's shoulder training day at Monster Gym. And what I like to do to start off the workout is start off with a five kilo dumbbell or barbell plate as I have here. Sit on an incline bench and do some rotator cuff work. So rotating the arm out whilst leaning on this bench keeps gravity against it and makes the rotator cuff work fairly hard, warming it up with 15 to 20 reps. It's not about weight here, it's just about moving the weight around and warming that area up. And I like to superset this with a lateral raise because you're in this pin position on an incline bench. It keeps all of the, the form and the load directly on the medial head or the side head of the delt. Perfect to warm up for a shoulder day. From here, I like to move on to a pressing movement. And here I'm using a hammer press, looking at somewhere between sort of 10 to 12 reps. So working up fairly heavy with weight on here, keeping the form all on the shoulders, keeping the glutes and the lower back pinned against the pad and working to complete failure as you can see here. So here's a close up of the failure or the money shot. <laughs> so, I mean really, where you really make gains in the gym is taking the sets to positive failure and possibly beyond. So make sure that's happening. Once the shoulders have trained with presses, I like to go on to rear delts. Now a lot of people forget this exercise, but the side head looks far bigger if the rear head is trained. So the rear head of the shoulder is a tiny muscle and it's hard to isolate. I think it's best isolated on a rear delt machine. And what I like to do is lean into the machine, keeping my elbows high. That keeps all the pressure on your rear delts and prevents you cheating. Now if you look at this style done on the rear delt, which you see in the gym a lot, it's done completely wrong. So you're leaning back with your feet tucked in forward. It allows you to lean back when the set gets hard, taking all the weight and the resistance off your rear delt and forcing it back with the arms. So shown from the side here, this is how I prefer people to do the exercise, leaning on the machine with your legs behind you. It means that you can't use your body weight to push off the machine when you fail and that the small rear head must fail first. And again, from the side angle, you can see how it's done wrong, but people will lean back off the machine in order to get them handles back. So remember, we're trying to train the muscle, we're not trying to move the weight. So keep it strict, keep it under tension. So from there, I've gone on to an upright row. Now, I like to superset this with a wide grip upright row, which will hit the traps, but predominantly work the side head uh, of the shoulder as well. And this is a harder movement than when your hands are closer together, because the side head of the shoulder is obviously a smaller muscle than the great big traps that run at the top of your back. So when the side heads fail and you can't do any more, simply move the hands closer together and you can extend the set with a close grip and more trap dominant upright row. So this really works the front delts and hits the traps behind the neck. Great exercise for building up musculature in that direction. Now everyone's nemesis in the gym but everyone wants cannonball shoulders. Now, how are they done right? And this is the way I like to see them done. Standing upright, nice and straight. The arms almost straight with a tiny little bending and coming out to the side as wide as you can with a slight pause at the top of the mo movement and controlling it on the way down. Where people go too heavy, they bend the elbows in almost at 90 degrees as shown here. And the dumbbells come in front of you, which will really work the front of the head of the shoulder and not hit the sides. So looking at it again from the side angle, you can see dumbbells come out from the side of the body and up high with nice straight arms or nearly straight arms as you can see when it's done right. And then when we take this the wrong way, the arms are in front of you, the dumbbells are in front of you and the elbows are bent, bringing the dumbbells up. Now lots of people do this because they add too much weight it's not really about weight on this exercise, otherwise you can't get your technique. So keep your technique bang on people. 